beautiful people, losing Drea here, and today we're going to make this spaghetti squash. And this is a two point, a two pound, eleven ounce squash, and we're going to cook it in the microwave oven, which is going to make it very quick and easy to cook. Otherwise, a squash of this size, if we baked it in the oven, we'd want to cut it in half, remove the seeds, maybe drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the inside of it, and some garlic and and some seasoning and then we would put it in our oven at about 400 degrees for about an hour but today we're going to cook it in the microwave it's quick and easy it's not going to make it taste any less uh, better than if we cooked it in the oven but what we're going to do is we're going to save on not having to use the olive oil which even though it's good fat it would add a little bit of fat to the recipe that I'm making this evening which is uh, turkey sausages, which are 58% fat-free. They're 140 calories per link. And um, I forget how many fat grams. I think only about 9 grams of fat. I'll have all the information in the down bar. Meanwhile, let's go back to our squash here. You want to choose a spaghetti squash that's got a nice, hard, firm out, outer skin. It's yellow all the way around. There are no greens or orange spots anywhere on it, which you want to make sure that it doesn't have. And I'm going to just peel this little sticker off of here because it's going to be almost virtually impossible once we cook it in our microwave. And with a knife, go ahead and pierce all the way around with a knife because you don't want this thing to explode when you put it in the microwave. And then you're just going to place it in your pan and we're going to pop it in our microwave for six minutes for every pound. So there's 2.11 pounds. We're going to, I'm going to actually put it in the microwave for about 14 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, I've actually placed my spaghetti squash in the microwave for seven minutes on high. This is a high powered microwave. And what that's gonna do is it's going to cook through halfway. And then I'm gonna open the microwave oven. I'm going to turn my squash. And then I'm gonna put it on for an additional seven minutes, allowing it to cook in total in my microwave for 14 minutes. When that's done, we're gonna open it up and I'll show you how you make the spaghetti strings inside from within the squash. Okay, so the spaghetti squash is halfway through cooking, seven minutes on high, and I'm just gonna turn it over this way, just once, so that it's on its other side. Close the door, and put it on for another seven minutes on high. Let that cook, and we'll come back. So as you can see, the spaghetti squash is cooking. It's turning in the rotisserie within the microwave oven. And it's making quite a bit of noise as the moisture from the inside of the spaghetti squash is basically coming out of those holes that we pierced into it with that big knife earlier. And with only 21 seconds and counting on the clock, it's almost going to be ready to remove from the oven and you want to be careful when you remove it from the oven that you do so with caution because it's going to be extremely, extremely hot. And here we go. It's just about ready. And we'll take it out and I'll show you it in a different view. Okay, so here we have our spaghetti squash, and it's nice and cooked from in the microwave. If you see, it's a little flat on one side. That means it's cooked. And what I'm going to do, it's a little hot to handle, but the best that I possibly can, I'm going to cut this bad boy down the center. You want to cut it lengthwise. And it should be pretty easy to cut now that it's cooked. Obviously, when you saw me piercing it earlier, you saw how very 
hard it was to cut, how hard it was to pierce. Okay. And we're through it. And as you can see on the inside, this is what the inside of it looks like. You have these seeds in here, which you want to take out with a fork. You just take and clean that up. Lift that on out of there. I got my little garbage bowl over here. And just continue to get all that out of there. Now this is very hot, so you want to be careful that you don't get burned. We don't want to burn ourselves here. Just want to get those seeds and a little bit of stringy stuff right out of the center there. They're like pumpkin seeds, what they look like. Don't know that you can eat them. I have not heard about eating spaghetti squash uh, seeds like you would like roast pumpkin seeds. But, and pretty much that's all there is to it. Some people like to let this cool down so that they can actually handle it. But we're going to eat this hot with the dish that we're making. So you just want to take the fork and start raking the fork through the spaghetti squash. And the longer the squash, the longer these strings are going to be. And you just keep raking it. Okay. I'm going to finish doing that, and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished dish. And here you have your wonderful Italian dish with your Italian sausage, turkey sausage, button mushrooms, spaghetti squash, and your classical tomato basil spaghetti sauce. We're talking 256 calories for the whole dish that you see here. Only 9.4 grams of fat, 2 grams saturated fat, 23 net carbs, 22 grams of protein, and there's 4.2 grams of fiber. So there you have it, a nice tasty meal. You could even add in another sausage link which is only going to add another 140 calories and you're not even going to go over 400 calories. So thanks for having dinner with me guys. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you and I'll see you in my next video.